All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install shaders using Fabric, Sodium, and the Iris Shaders mod. So the first thing we need to do to get this going is to just pop open your Minecraft and make sure that you've run and downloaded the latest version or whatever version of Minecraft you're trying to mod with shaders at least once so that it's installed on your computer. When you click on play, it should download it. And then once you get to the point where it loads like this window right here, and you can see stuff moving around in the background and you can play single player or multiplayer or whatever, that's when you know Minecraft is downloaded and ready to go on your system. So just go ahead and close that. And then we're gonna need two files. We're going to need the Irish Shaders mod, which installs both iris shaders and sodium together at the same time. And we're also going to need the fabric mod loader. So let's start with the fabric mod loader. We'll download the universal jar, because that's just the easiest to use on all systems, no matter if you're Mac, PC, Linux, whatever. And then we'll go over here to the iris shaders website, and then I'll just go ahead and do the exact same thing. Download the universal jar. And as a reminder, you don't need to individually grab sodium because the iris shaders will install it for you automatically. So the first thing we need to do, let's open up that folder I just put everything into. We're going to first start by installing fabric. So we'll just double click that. Make sure again that you've already installed Minecraft 124 or whatever version that you're trying to mod. And then when you click on the fabric installer, it should automatically detect what version of Minecraft that you're trying to install it for. If you're trying to install it for an older version, you can click on this little menu and select it. It goes all the way back to 1.14. Uh, but we want it for the latest version. And we're not going to mess around with snapshots because snapshots are notoriously bad with mods. We're going to leave the loader version alone. That should just be automatic. And then... Your launcher should find the Minecraft installation location automatically unless you manually changed it. If you did so, click on these three dots and tell it where you put Minecraft's files. If you haven't, don't worry about it. And then you want to make sure that create profile is selected and then click on install. And then it should be like, yeah, you did it. Success. If you get an error message, Google the error message, but you probably shouldn't if you follow the steps correctly to this point. Go ahead and click OK and close that. And then the last thing you need to do is click on the Iris installer. We'll just double click on that. And then it'll ask you, hey, what do you want to uh, install this with? We're going to go with 1.20.4. We're going to be installing this for fabric and then we're going to install it in the Minecraft directory and we're going to click on install. This sort of basically means that it can install itself independently of fabric. This can in theory, install this program without the need to have fabric as a standalone, but it's nice when you install these to be able to use other mods alongside of it. So what it's telling me now is an existing mods folder was found in the selected game directory. Do you want to update slash install Iris? Yes, I would. And then it says completed. Awesome. I'll just go ahead and close that. And then if we open up Minecraft launcher again, so now it should have a new version of the fabric mod loader installed. I already had one, so it must it overrode it with the new version 1.20.4 here at the top. And if I go over to installations and I hover over the fabric loader here at the top and click on the folder, it'll open up the Minecraft folder with all the installed stuff and I can look inside the mods folder and I can see here is Iris. And then here is the sodium fabric version right here that I want in order to run and allow me to use shaders. Now there is one last detail that I need to do before I can play the game with shaders. And that is I need some shaders. So the first thing to do with that is make sure you have a folder called shader packs. One word. If you don't have one yet, just create one by right clicking, going to new, creating a folder, and then naming it shader packs, all lowercase. 
And inside of here, I have some old shaders, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete those because those are not necessarily all meant for uh, fabric or for iris. And we're going to look up Minecraft shader packs. So if you look up Minecraft shaders, you can get these from a number of different locations. I just grabbed mine from this top result here, minecraftshaders.com. And then if you go inside of here, the most popular one is oftentimes the BSL shaders. And when you look at these different shaders, you can see on the side which ones that they support. So there's two kinds, as far as I'm aware. The two primary ones are Iris, which we're showcasing here in this video, and then there's Optifine. Most of the top shaders are meant for both, but always check to see which one of these that they're compatible with so that you don't download one that won't work or will cause your game or computer to crash. So once you've found the ones that you want in here, by looking at the screenshots and everything, go ahead and download the, the shader itself down here at the bottom. There's the download link. I've already got a couple downloaded, so I'll just go ahead and open that file up again. And here are my fabric shaders. I'll just copy those. And then I will paste them inside of my shader packs folder and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and hover over the fabric loader and then click on play. It'll warn me, hey, Larry, you know this is a modded version of Minecraft, right? Just be careful. Weird things can happen with mods and I'll say, yes, I understand. Don't warn me about this again next time and then I'm gonna go ahead and click play. Whoa, okay, so it, it caused all my other programs to minimize that I had open. But if I see it here, if I go into my single player and play, there won't be any shader packs enabled initially. Like you can see, this just looks like standard plain Jane Minecraft, but if I hit escape, A, I'll be able to go into options and into video settings. This is what sodium looks like. If you're used to Optifine, it's a little bit different. This is where all of your performance settings are at. It makes it really easy to mess around and to adjust things for high FPS but the shader packs are up here inside of the video settings. I can click on shader packs and here I can select BSL. And then I can click apply. And then I can click on done. And once I'm out of the menu, you can see it's full of beautiful shaders. It's a little bit jankier than doing it on an Optifine, just because it has to apply the shaders before you can leave the menu. But aside from that, it works just the same. You can then swap between any of these shaders, and then you can exit out of the settings menu, and you can see them immediately. And I will say, personally, I find that the sodium version of the shaders works a lot better. Like it's smooth as butter, everything works great, looks great, and doesn't lag the computer, especially when you go into video settings and you set your chunk loading to the maximum render distance. This isn't lagging at all, like this is smooth and buttery and I'm also recording at the same time. So that's actually really cool. So I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a look at how to install sodium with fabric and also have shaders using iris. It's basically down to do you want to use iris or do you want to use Optifine? And frankly, Sodium's looking like it's got the leg up on Optifine these days. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.